Okay, um, we are doing the hand rolled hem technique sample. I'm starting with a seamed piece of very lightweight fabric. This is very lightweight silk georgette fabric. Um, and step one says start with our wrong side up, flip it over, um, and trim any vertical seams um, in the hem area to a quarter inch, or no, sorry, one eighth inch, and press it to the left. So we're going to hem this this line right here, and we do have a vertical seam crossing over our hem. So I'm gonna get my scissors and just go ahead and trim the seam allowance so it's only one eighth inch wide, um, and then I'll press it all to the left. Okay, so the vertical seam has been trimmed only 1 8 inch wide um, at our hemline. So step number two is to go ahead and thread trace the actual hemline. So again, the hemline is the part that it's, will be folded on once it's done. That's gonna set the length of your garment. To help me thread trace this fabric, um, instead of chalk, I'm just putting down a little bit of draping tape. Um, and then I do have some special basting thread that should slide through pretty easy and break apart when pulled. Um, it's cotton thread. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some stitches. The goal will be to pull these out when we're done with this technique sample. Step three asks us to actually machine stitch below our actual hemline. Um, it would like it to be 1 8 inch below. They'd like us to use really short stitches. So I'm gonna actually go take this to the machine and put in a row of short machine stitches that'll run parallel to my thread tracing 1 8 inch away. Okay, so I took this to the machine and I machine stitched parallel to the hemline um, inside the hem about 1 8 inch. Um, and the next step is actually trim pretty close to your machine stitch, um, about an eighth inch as well. Um, and it's recommended to not go across your entire hem if you have a really long garment. Instead, it's recommended to only trim a few inches at a time, like perhaps like six to nine inches, and then finish the rolled hem piece by piece. The authors worry that if you were to trim the whole entire hem, especially if it's a really long one, um, you'll start seeing unraveling and it can get messy. So it recommends doing this like bit by bit. So my sample obviously is not very long. It's less than six inches. So um, in my case, I can actually trim across the whole thing. But I'm gonna try to trim pretty close to my uh, stitched line. Okay, I'm gonna read the next step out loud. It gets a little tricky now. Um, you know, wrong side facing us, so I have my seam allowance, that part is easy. It wants me to hold the rolled edge over my index finger. Okay, well nothing's rolled yet, but maybe what will be rolled. Um, use my left thumb and forefinger to roll this edge. And when I roll the very, very edge, um, it's going to enclose this stitched line, my machine stitch line. So that black stitch, I should not see after I roll it over. And also, by the way, my thread tracing should be the actual hem. Like it should end up like that. And then this should be rolled over so you don't see the black little stitching because it'll be enclosed. Ooh, okay. So it's teeny tiny. I'm gonna have to get nimble with my fingers here. Um, it says you can, you know, <laughs> Uh, moisten your finger with the tip of your tongue. So like lick your fingers to help add a little moisture and that's supposed to help. Um, it says use a fine needle. So my basting needle I used was actually a thicker needle. So I'm switching out to um, a finer needle. I'm switching threads as well. Um, let's see here, uh, to a 
fine machine embroidery cotton or mercerized cotton or silk thread and about 15 inches long. Um, we're gonna anchor the thread in the um, roll of the hem. And then number six, we can use slip stitches or fell stitches or whip stitches to hem the roll to keep it from unrolling. I think I'm gonna use slip stitches in this demonstration. Um, if we're using slip stitches, the book says to pick up just a single thread on the garment because it will be visible from the right side. So you don't wanna take huge long stitches. Um, you can take long stitches in the slip of the hem, which you won't see, but when you grab the garment, just take you know one little thread if possible. Okie dokie, let's see if I can do this. Um, it's sometimes a little tough under a camera, but I will do my best. So here I go. Okay, so the hem is now rolled. It has been stitched into place. We can probably take out our thread tracing as well. Probably a good idea to bring it to the iron. And you can see I kind of had a rockier start at the beginning with the roll, and then I was kind of getting the hang of it. And it was a little bit easier for me to kind of roll with my um, left hand as I kind of was got a little bit of practice in. So maybe that will happen to you as well. Um, and there that's what it looks like so again you will see little tiny stitches from when you grab your fabric um, yeah and the goal is to have the machine stitch hidden so like I said a little bit could have used a little bit more roll I think on that side <laughs> 